So after weeks of testing, I feel kind of confident enough to talk about double heroines, but I'm, I'm still new to like these kind of videos. In the past, I have done like just these card unboxings, but yeah, I will try my best to give you like some insights. And yeah, I, I really think that the double heroines deck is like the perfect start into the V-Cross TCG. And it comes with two decks with one blue and one red. Uh, Pivolog and Hirana. And I want to start with the Hirana deck because it's like easier to navigate. It's like aqua red, like from Magic the Gathering. It's very straightforward into your face. And there's still like some thinking. It's not like super, super easy, but yeah, it has like one one goal, <laughs> like uh, to to kill fast. And we have like the center Elric with Hirana, a step towards the top. And she has the the team No Limit, but this deck is not built in team because for No Limit you would need Ray and uh, what was the other one? Akino. But this this deck is not built, so you don't get where's my focus? You don't get the constant ability of attacking Signy on your field, get plus 2k power which can help in some cases, but this deck really doesn't need it usually. So when she enters the battlefield, you draw a card and enter charge one, and she has the once per game ability. This Elric gains. Whenever this Elric attacks, you may down two up level two Elric on your field. If you do, this Elric deals damage to your opponent unless your opponent discards a card with a guard until end of turn. And this is very important and also like that it deals damage. Some cards, I will talk about the piece later, they do crush life cloth but don't deal damage. So yeah, when when the card just crashes the life burst and your opponent has no, uh, no life cloth anymore, uh, it does nothing. But this deals damage so it can finish your opponent if he has no life cloth anymore. So yeah, very aggressive card. It's like a like a double attack in one turn. Of course, you need to. You need the two assist uh, on level two, but this is like easy, because they are not cheap. We have for once we have Tama, and all of the Tamas assist they cost nothing, like zero cost, and that's important because uh, this deck needs the Anna for other things to do. But yeah, very pretty artwork of Tama. The first assist. Uh, is the ones that opens a lane for you. She has the enter ability. Return target Signy on your opponent's field with power 10k or less to its owner's hand. So 10k, yeah, there are even like some level 3 Signies with 10k, so she could like open a lane with a level 3 Signy, but usually you play it like in your first attack uh, attack turn to to get like some early damage. Then we have the assist two. Usually you crow this then in your second in your second attack. And yeah, that enter ability target Elric on your field gains. When this Elric attacks, up it and it loses it, its abilities until end of turn. Until end of turn. So yeah, it's another attack. So yeah, you can get I think the most was like four or damage or like Three damage and one life cloth destruction in one turn. So, just with Hirana, she's like super aggressive. And the second assist is Machina Zero, and she's in the color black. And the level one is main phase timing. Vanish target level one Signy on your opponent's field. Add target level one Signy without a G from your trash to your hand. So yeah, you can get back like Romeo to open a lane, for example. And uh, yeah, open lane again, or yeah, Machina alone opens a lane in the early game also to pressure the opponent. And the level two is offensive and defensive in some way, like you can play it in the opponent's attack phase to prevent the damage from a Signy in an open lane. And there's also like the, the big important mechanic in. In V Cross, maybe if you have played Magic in the past, there's the attack phase and then there's the second main phase. In V Cross, we don't have this, so 
when you open a lane or you vanish a Signy in that in the opponent's attack phase, your opponent usually don't have the ability to fill the lane again. Just very, very rare cases when there is a life burst, which says put the Signy on the field, but this is like very unusual and, and then you cry, but usually you you open lanes and you defend yourself at the same time. So yeah, when she enters for for one Anna, target seeking on your opponent's field gets minus twelve K power until end of turn. So usually like there are level three signies with thirteen K of course, but especially most most signy that have effects and yeah C play they they have like twelve K. And you can pay one black Anna at target signy without a G from your trash to your hand. This can be sometimes a little bit uh, difficult because this deck is really heavy, uh, heavy red. So in some cases I didn't have the black Anna, but this could probably be like a skill issue with me. <laughs> but yeah, the the two pieces. Let's go with go for the top. Yeah, this is the. I I will tell you about the upgrades I did or like the cards I swapped out after the regular cards. But yeah, this is go to the top for three, so it's uh, expensive. And the use conditions, you have a white Elric and a red Elric on your field. Search your deck for a Signy, reveal it and add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck after doing so. If your opponent's center Elric is level three or more, they choose and put three cards from the Ana zone into their trash. So it's not a bad card in, in general, it's just... Uh, yeah, a little bit expensive. You want to do a lot of things with your Anna and even it's useful to get like a like a Flathro or Nobunaga from your deck, but usually I I replaced it with another piece. And then we have the for only one red Anna and Wine Supremacy. Use conditions train team. You have the three Elric on your field with three or more different colors. And target level 3 Elric on your field gains the following ability until end of turn. Once per turn, when this Elric attacks, crush one of your opponent's life cloth. If your opponent chooses to use the life burst of that card, you may pay 2 Anna. If you do, that card's life burst does not activate. So yeah, this is another piece for, for the amount of damage that Hirana can put out in, in one turn. But as I said, uh, it's just crushing life clause is not making damage so your opponent doesn't have to discard a guard if he has no life cloth anymore so then we go into the the special cards foil cards usually the level three they aren't oh they aren't uh i should have sorted them for level but that's okay i guess it's okay i took some cards out for my because i bought this deck twice and i will tell you later in the video why i did this and there's also a sleeping elric as a bromo in this deck which is super cool so i think but the rest should be as it's yeah so we have nobunaga level 3 signy she's the rice signy this means you have to play her on another red signy on the field you cannot just put her on the field and she has the enter ability for one red vanish target signy on your opponent's field with power 8k or less so she can herself open a lane and then she can push through with the double red cost action this signy gains double crush until end of turn this means that yeah it crushes two of the opponent's life cloth instead of one so yeah very important card one thing i want to say about this is that uh, it all costs Anna and in this meta or in V-Cross in general, there are more and more cards that Anna Denial, that giving cards into your hand or putting them into the trash. So you have to be a little bit careful with your Anna. And there was like one game I played and uh, I was the pure look player in this deck, uh, with, with this deck. And my opponent played uh, with this red deck, and I hadn't grown my defensive assists. And 
the defensive assists they down or they make that your opponent cannot attack with some Signy. And of, of course my opponent can see that I haven't grown my assist, so he could like think, oh, maybe he has a way to stop the attack. And the lane was free in front of Nobunaga. But yeah, there was already a lot of pressure on the field. And yeah, he decided to spend the Anna even if he like could think or like should have known that I have a way to shut down Nobunaga. So you you have to be careful like with spending. You should like think if you want to commit so much Anna into this card, if there is the possibility that your opponent just uh, shuts her down. So yeah. That's just from my experience. There are two Nobunagas in this deck. Then we have Diabride. There's just one of her. She can be nice, but uh, yeah, I think I will put her out of my deck in the end, but not sure about this. She has the once per turn ability. When a red Signy on your field becomes the target of your opponent's ability or effect, your opponent chooses a card from the inner zone and puts it into the trash. So it's like self-protection against uh, also against like life burst and stuff and then Anna burn and the enter ability is like a cycling effect discard a card look at the top two cards of your deck add a card from among them to your hand and put the rest into your trash so not under the deck not elsewhere or not on top like it's a aggressive form of cycling in white we we see like other effects that are or in blue that you put the cards under the deck so you don't lose the the cards. But this one is in the trash, which is important. And also the, the life burst ability of vanish target up signy on your opponent's field or draw a card. So the life burst isn't burst isn't that good because the condition of up signy is awkward. Like you can of course the life burst effects are always luck based. Uh, depending on when they get crushed. But a lot of the times you will just draw a card and that's not so cool. Even this deck has the problem of burning out pretty fast that it's so aggressive. You you play your cards that, especially if your opponent has like way to make you discard, you can very easily um, run out of resources. So this is a, a problem with the deck. Then we have my... My favorite gun waifu Flathro. I really love this card. Uh, except when I play against Coelia, the, the white Signy that uh, makes the assassin go away quite every time. But yeah, level 3 with 10k, so not that big. <clears throat> but her, her guns are bigger. So at the beginning of your attack phase, you may discard your hand. If you discarded 6 or more cards this way, crush one of your opponent's life cloth. As I said, it, you, you usually haven't much resources in hand, but there was like sometimes I was able to discard so many cards, even if there are like arguments to not do this, because, yeah, as I said, you can run out of cards pretty easily, depending on your matchup, if you play against uh, blue, which make you discard a lot. Maybe you shouldn't help your opponent to empty out your hand. Maybe this is not the best to do. And then she has the auto ability. Whenever the Signy attacks, if you have no cards in your hand, you may pay two red. If you do, the Signy gains Assassin. So yeah, often you can use this without self-discard just because you run out of hand cards. But yeah, Assassin makes it that she deals damage directly. She's not battling with the Signy show. It doesn't matter if there is like a a big wall signy or like remember in front of her she's like pushing under so the the 10k doesn't matter for the attack step just that she gets vanished easily in the opponent's attack or life burst effect then we have hanayo and when i first read or played with the card i read it wrong oh man uh, at the beginning of your attack phase if there are no cards in your Anna zone, the base level of the Signy becomes 3 and its base power becomes 12k until end of your opponent's next end phase. And for some reason, it's always in my head I was like, if there are no cards in my hand, I thought this is a synergy uh, between these two, like 
both care about me not having cards in hand and probably like the first two games I played this card wrong. <laughs> so yeah, read read the cards to understand the card, it's important. And the second auto ability is at the beginning of your attack phase you may discard a total of two red cards or jewel signy. If you do vanish target signy on your opponent's field with a level less than or equal to the signy. So yeah, she gets level 3 and then you can vanish something with level 3. And yeah, Jewel, you have like some, she herself is a Jewel uh, Signy. Direbright is also a Jewel Signy. So yeah, but I am personally not a big fan of her. But probably there's like a lot of Anna Burn and Anna Denial, so... But usually I will try to get like some Anna for... Of Lathro. But yeah, maybe I, I would have to test a little bit more. For, for my playstyle, I didn't really need her. How about I I do really love the artwork, but yeah, from the playstyle, I think I will put her out too. She has the once per turn ability. When an up signy on your field becomes the target of an ability or effect of your opponent's assist, Elric. Or life burst, you may pay four. If you do crush one of your opponent's life cloth, so three red, one colorless Anna. I think this is just too too expensive with the matter of yeah that a lot of decks don't want to give you Anna, and I want to do like lane opening or I want to do Nobunaga Flathro. I want to do other things with my Anna. The games I played with this deck, I never used it. Like on paper, I think the effect sounds kind of cool, just with the with the cost. But yeah, I saw like a lot of Japanese decks with this card, so maybe I just don't play it correctly. I don't know. The enter ability for one red, discard a card, draw two cards, so you get like a little bit of card advantage. Maybe people play this card to draw more cards. Could be the case. And then we have. The meme card, Iresh Kigal. Uh, it's a black, level 3. And the enter condition is, put two cards from your life cloth into your trash. If two cards were put into your trash this way, put all Signy on your opponent's field into their owner's trash. So she can, she's like a board wipe as a waifu. <laughs> and uh, she is kind of funny. You can win games with her. It's just, she is in the one, wrong deck. I, I really don't understand why it's in this deck build. I the way I want to play with this de uh, with this card is in a control deck with a defensive deck with a deck that can protect a little bit more the life cloth. This deck is so aggressive that I I use a lot of life cloth because of my aggressive playstyle. And it the card is putting the life cloth into the trash. It's not crushing. If it would crush your own life cloth, you would get the life burst. So yeah, I really don't like this card in this build. This is like a auto out of deck. And yeah, the the life burst is target signal on your opponent's feet gets minus 10k. That's yeah. Okay-ish. <laughs> but yeah, in general, I, I, I like this card as a one or two off in like I would have liked the Iresh Kigal in this build actually but yeah let's go further we have four era level two signies i really like this one it's uh has the ability whenever this signy attacks if all signy on your field are red you may pay one red if you do vanish target signy on your opponent's field with power 5k or less and i really like the timing on this one even if there are like some upsides the second red card, level 2, that can vanish an opponent's Signy with power 5k or less is Lancelot. There are two Lancelots in this deck and I like that there are only two. Because my experience was sometimes that this is the enter ability. You give your opponent uh, Anna while you are in your main phase. So when you are going into attack phase... Your opponent has the Anna to like crow or pay for assist Elric costs. 
and I don't like this. Like there were like some cases when my girl played with Hirana against me, and I hadn't enough uh, Anna to grow my Madoka Clap. Madoka Clap is a defensive, uh, defensive assist Elric, which downs. She downs, yeah. And my girl gave me the Anna to play Madoka Clap. So, and with with Hera, you vanish during the attack phase or when Hera attacks. So it doesn't give gives the opponent the the Anna so he can use it. But at, at the same time, it's a little bit more. Yeah, of course, when you when your opponent already has the Anna and he plays the assist and he can make Hera not attacking, you lose the ability to open a lane. When your opponent plays like MC Lion disrespect and gives Hera the the ability the Signy cannot attack, you cannot open a lane with her. So the timing is very important and I still I still do like Hera more than Lancelot. Maybe that's just my experience. Maybe you have other experience with everything I say in this video. It's just my experience. I'm still kind of new to V Cross. Uh, there are a ton of people who know more, and I'm always happy to learn myself about this game. And if you have other experience or if you disagree, please leave a comment. There are may maybe people uh, watching this video, and if they listen to what I say and it's wrong, please correct me. <laughs> then we have the. Oh, we have more level two. Let's go with more level twos and this video is just getting way too long i feel like uh, we have dekarabia level 2 10k usually when you see this card in your starting hand you will try to mulligan it away this is for a lot of cards with uh with life burst you want to lose the same as tristan tristan is a vanilla card it has no enter ability or anything Level 2, 10k. I like the big bodies sometimes. Uh, it's not a bad thing to have level 2s with 10k. But yeah, you usually, when you see these cards on your starting hand, you uh, mix them again into your deck. So you get here for 1 colorless. And uh, if you uh, you may pay 1. If you do vanish target signal on your opponent's field, this is very, very strong. I actually really like to have 4 of this because... You don't have to care if it's up. You don't have. You don't care if it's a 13k, a 15k, or a 20k. You you don't care. It's vanishing everything. And as I said previously, uh, vanishing is defensive and offensive. Like when you vanish with her the next turn when you are attacking, you have an open lane. So very good card. Tristan. There are only two Tristan cards and. Yeah, uh, when I show you my upgrades after this, uh, I I will have more Tristan because I really like the card. This deck, as I said, can run out of cards and resources. And Tristan lets you look at the top five cards of your deck, add up to three cards from among them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. And yeah, this sounds more like a white effect, like a white life burst. And yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> white or blue? like. It's not. It's very unusual for red to draw cards, and yeah, just picking three cards out of five. It's so good. You can, you can grab even guards. Like when this life burst happens from a Signy attack, you grab guards. You can grab Flathro or anything you need for your next turn. I love this card. But then we have more level two snow. Uh, yeah, we have of course four. For servants, as always, there's nothing to say about this. And we have Fornax, Natural Planet. At the beginning of your attack phase, you may discard a level 1 Signy. If you do, put target card from your opponent's inner zone that does not share a color with your opponent's center area. Yeah, uh, I, I don't like this. I know a lot of a lot of people try to inner screw or inner burn your opponent. With inner screw, I mean that some decks play a lot of colors like this is basically mono red but some decks need a lot of different colored anna and you try to mess a little bit with this 
So there might be like some matchups this can work, but usually I just play the stack so aggressive that I, I kind of don't care. <laughs> but maybe yeah, I play it too, too basic. Like there, there are like maybe ways to to play the stack so it's so it's better. But it has the the life burst effect. You may discard a card if you do vanish target Signy on your opponent's field with twelve k or less. And yeah, sometimes, as I said, you can run out of cards. You, like, there are like situations where you don't have a card to discard. Uh, another card I, I think I put out, Yusuki. Uh, it has the generic, it's a very generic life burst of Vanish Target Signy on your opponent's field with power 8k or less. This hits most of the level 2s, except like the, the Vault or the the vanilla level 2s, which have 10k. But the auto ability is at the beginning of your attack phase, if there are 4 or more cards in your opponent Ender Zone, you may pay 3 if uh, to 1 red to white. If you do, your opponent chooses 2 cards from the Ender Zone and puts them. I really don't like this effect. A lot of decks play this card, I don't like it. So I, I pay 3 and I need my Ender for other things. And... Uh, your opponent can choose which he wants to put into the into the trash. So maybe if you could choose and you can like Anna screw your opponent, I would consider this. But with all these restrictions, I don't like this card at all. Uh, Samidare. This has the enter ability: discard a card and pay one. Add target weapon Signy from your trash to your hand, and weapon is Flathwo. And uh, so yeah, this could help, but it's at the same time it's a bit expensive. Like one Anna and discard a card. I would have liked this to be just to discard a card. Because there are, as I said, there are already a lot of effects and yeah, a lot of times I, I'm already low on cards in my hand. So it has the same like life burst of you may discard a card, vanish target signal on your opponent's feet with twelve K. We have Akasax, which is uh, a way to pay for our Maki... Makina? Makina. It's red and black. It's a big body uh, with no effect. But yeah, this is a card I, I do put out. Yeah, Romeo, it's a classic. But in this, today's meta, like... So when she enters the battlefield, you can pay one. And uh, and vanish target signal on your opponent's field with power three k or less. But we have so many uh, level ones now that are bigger, or they protect themselves. They have like shadow, or they have like uh, other ways that they can't get targeted from level ones. So I feel like the the time for Romeo is difficult. Difficult times. Uh, there are many cards that she can hit still, but yeah, it's we see it like in the Grand Prix that there are a lot of high uh, placing decks which have uh, Signies that are protected from Romeo. There are two spells in this deck, Volcanic Skies, and if you can pay Exceed 7, but yeah, for, for one net for. <laughs> For zero, for zero red. Uh, vanish target signal on your opponent's field with power 2k or less. If you pay deck seed 7 instead, vanish target signal on your opponent's field with power 12k or less. And the life burst is vanish target up signy. I do not like the life burst. Uh, it's always awkward with the up. Maybe I'm just unlucky with my timing. But when I get this life burst, it's always everything is down. And it's doing nothing. And the exact exceed 7 uh, is awkward too because you just can exceed 7 once per game. Only after you have grown your assist and your center fully. And exceed means that you have the the previous levels under your, your Elric and you put the cards under your Elric into the Elric trash. Uh, so yeah. You can just use this once per game. So this is a card I didn't like. 
This video is just getting a lot longer and probably I'm talking to myself for the whole time, but yeah, let's talk about the upgrades and I think I will need to drink something <laughs> and I will uh, split this video. I didn't expect it to take so long for me to talk about stuff. Sorry, but I will record the other video maybe today or yeah. So first thing to do is to upgrade your level zeros because this increases your win rate by like three to five percent. So this is the moral boost, like having a shiny, shiny center level zero is very important. So invest in that for, for once. Then yeah, with the with the piece I said that I don't like the go go to the top. I would replace it with Song of V Cross. Sadly, I don't I haven't pulled the card and I don't have money to spend on singles at the moment. So I do have Seno Cluster. Uh Seno Cluster is like a way if you get Anna burned or your opponent makes you discard cards, you can catch up. But I, I do not like it this much. I like Song of V Cross more. Song of V Cross lets you draw three cards. But you have to discard two cards at the end of uh, I think this was the I don't have this card here as I said, but I will put up a, a picture on the screen for you. So and you can play it in your opponent's attack phase, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, usually you run out of hand cards anyway, pretty pretty fast. So. Uh, Usually you don't have to discard two cards at the next end phase. But being able to draw three cards even in the opponent's attack phase lets you maybe draw into a guard too, so this can help. And yeah, for, for zero cost, this is a very good card. Another change I did make, and there are like different ways to do this. I know that some decks have Miku Miku as a blue assist. I I have opened like three displays of the um of the set where she is, but I didn't pull her too. Maybe I'm maybe I'm cursed. But there is a level one assist called Kira Kira Kira. Let me check. But I, I haven't as I said I haven't pulled her. And I have Pure look as a blue assist. Level one just draws me two cards. As I said, I need more fuel for my hands because I, I run out of cards. It costs nothing, which is important. And then we have the, the level two assist, pure look peeping analyze for cost of two, main face timing. Look at your opponent's hand and choose a card. Your opponent discards it. Usually, you want to hit a guard with this, so your opponent, when you put out a lot of damage with Hirana, or you try at least, you want to make your opponent discard his guard. But there's also the built-in defense, like maybe if your opponent is playing an aggressive center Elric 2, like MC Lion, or of course Hirana or Arnsh, or yeah, another Elric that attacks multiple times, maybe you can freeze. This can stop a lot of damage. So I, I actually like this, but there are like some people that play Miku Miku. Uh, this has the attack phase timing. It costs three. Enter ability, put target seeking on your opponent's field on the bottom of its owner's deck. So it's at the same time preventing damage and opening a lane for you. And you can discard three cards. Look at your opponent's hand and choose a card. Your opponent's discards it. So you want to hit a guard with this one too. But I do think that it's, I personally really think I like this one more because discarding three cards myself is, it hurts. It really, really do hurt. And sometimes I'm not able to do this, but I think it is important to, to hit the guard, to make your opponent discard. Um, yeah. So spell wise, I do play eternal influence twice. I think this is uh, a better spell than the one in the deck. So I replaced them with this. 
you can pay exceed four cost. It costs, of course, it costs one instead of the other spell, which was for free. And it has the vanish target signal on your opponent's field with power 8k or less. If you paid the exceed four and said vanish target signal on your opponent's field, so no restriction, nothing about upped or uh, a power level. You cannot pay for both of them per game. As I said, you just have seven, seven exceed costs you, you can pay per game. But still, I really like this card. Can hit a lot with the exceed cost. Then I, as I said, I do have the four play set of Tristan because I really want to draw the cards. There are also like some decks that do use, because we have now access to blue, there are like some decks that even put her in the deck and she's just the same card just in blue. It has the same effect. I've seen like some deck list with twice of her, but I I haven't tested it. I I feel like, yes, I want to draw cards, but I do want to have a lot of vanishing life burst too so for now i think i'm happy with four tristan and i don't want to increase it for my level ones because there are like a lot of a lot of big level ones i do have three cruelly prevention dragon he has the the same generic like vanish target signal on your opponent's feet with power 8k or less Really like the artwork too. It's like a dragon, dragon mate thingy. Looks cool. I still do have one dire bride, but I want to test a little bit more about playing multiple Dachi. And yeah, Dachi is like a like a self harm card. And as as someone with mental health issues, this feels like home. So I have to include this card. <laughs> like a what someone has called her like a, and I. We are like so deep in the video, nobody's watching. Like a suicide red card. I, I like it a lot. So she has the the enter ability. You may crush one of your life plots. So not like Ireshkigal with the trashing effect. It's really crushing. So you get your life burst. If the life burst is a vanish effect, you can open a lane. And at the same time as one of your life cloth is crushed, draw a card. And then the second once per turn, when a signal on your field is put into the trash by a cost or your effect and a charge one. So this is really like when you feel pressured and you have to make sure like this is this is my last turn. If there are a lot of situations where you are like, if I don't win with Hirana this turn, I lose. There, there are a lot of decks and the last GP who placed higher than Hirana. Uh, because they have just ways to wall up, they have ways to text, they... Uh, and yeah, if Hirana isn't able to win fast enough, like a lot of these control or defensive decks are just better. And I want to play her twice. I just, just have one uh, now, but I, I really like this card. And she has like the, the Vanish target signal on your opponent's field with power 8k or less. So life burst isn't that great, but you usually want to you want to play play her and not have her in the life burst. I did test a little bit with EX Memoria. Uh, I think this card can make fun. It's a 10k, so one of the smaller level threes. And the enter ability is put up to three Signy from your Ana zone under the Signy. Oh, and this is the the door. So this was the post delivery and uh, where was I? So you can put three Signy from your inner zone under this Signy and at the beginning of your attack phase you may put a red Signy underneath the Signy into their owner's trash. If you do vanish target Signy on your opponent's field with power 10k or less. So yeah, she can open lanes and she has like a self protection build in it. When the Signy is vanished out of, outside of your main phase, your opponent chooses a card from the Ana zone and puts it into their trash. For each card that was underneath the Signy, 
So yeah, maybe you can up to three, but I usually, when I play this card, I wouldn't put three under it because she gets probably like vanished anyway. And maybe you want to be like careful with your, with your Anna. But yeah, I, I tested a little bit. I'm not 100% sold on her, but I think in, on paper, she sounds interesting. Uh, what else? Of course, I, I, yeah, I shiny, shiny version of Lancelot for more, for better win rate. I did test a little bit with Hazenite and I, I do like her. She has just 2k, so she, she dies easily. And there are like some minus 2k effects in black, which hit her, uh, hit her. During your opponent's turn, when this Signy becomes the target of an ability or effect of your opponent, your opponent chooses a card from the inner zone and puts it into their trash. So she has like, yeah, also self build protection in some way or yeah, and a, and a burn, but I'm not really 100% sure about her. Maybe I will uh, replace her in the future. Another level one Signy I tested a little bit is Sepa. She has the enter ability, put another red Signy on your field into its owner trash, vanish target Signy on your opponent's field with power 3k or less. Yeah, I think she has like a little bit of synergy with like Daji. Because she has like when a Signy on your field is put into the trash and uh, by cost or your effect and a charge. I think I don't remember that this effect ever happened. Uh, maybe it's because I just have one Dachi. But yeah, this this could be like a way like you don't have to pay Anna. So if you're low on Anna, it has like the, the same effect like Romeo. Uh, yeah, this card I really like. This one, I'm a little bit torn. I have put more Fluthrow in this deck. Because, <laughs> yeah, as I said, I'm a big fan. Uh, usually this card is really, really good. Except, like, against Coelia. I hate Coelia. I have said it before. I will uh, say it a thousand times more. <laughs> I'm just salty. Uh, Samidara, I, I have, like, once of her in the deck for the... For the effect, but yeah, I might replace her too. With Hazanite, Romeo. Yeah, there. I'm still like in the build phase. Like this is not a finished, finished build. I just wanted to share my, my insights and experience. So I will not give you like a full deck list because I myself don't really have one as a build and process. Maybe at some point in the future when I have money to buy more single cards or i have tested a bit more i will add like a, a full list but i hope this was like a little bit helpful even if it takes forever and nobody's watching but yeah maybe if you're new to v cross and you wanted to pick up a deck get this deck the blue deck is very cool too i just don't have the voice anymore for recording i'm not used to talk so long and uh yeah i i do really like this deck and the next video will be about the blue one i would be happy to get like some feedback and yeah thank you for watching see you bye